welcome back to the channel it's Maisie the dog groomer here it is chilly it's October the 11th and today is bleeding cold it's half past seven and I'm about to head into work I'm feeling a little overwhelmed today because I looked in my diary and I've booked quite a lot of my dogs back to back which makes me so 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 stressed if I've got a dog on the table and then my next client's outside I find that really stressful um I don't know why I've done it. Luckily, the dogs that I do have in, I have previously groomed. So I know that I can get them done in the time, but you just never know what they're gonna be like on the day. So yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> I did do a meditation, but it's not really helped that much. But um, fingers crossed it all goes okay. My client's are really understanding. So I know if I run over, they'll be okay, but I still get worried. Right, I'm off. some breakfast here it's about 20 past eight i've just tidied the salon i'm gonna make a cup of tea and then i'm gonna have some oats because i'm starving i've got a really really busy day today look how cute this little mug is this is the one from one of my clients she has a mini poodle and i'm obsessed with him she bought me a poodle mug so cute like Alexitarian, so I don't have dairy and I don't tend to eat that much meat. But I normally make my oats with oat milk <laughs> and there's no oat milk here, so I have to make them with water, which I think is disgusting. That also means I'm gonna have to have a black tea. I don't mind black tea to be honest. Okay, good start to the day. <laughs> let me show you my oats so i've got they're really like wintry oats with dates some flax seeds some cinnamon and a little dollop of lotus spread so i'm gonna have that and i've got a load of clients to reply to this morning so it's 20 past eight i'm gonna reply to clients for about half an hour book people in on my system um make sure everyone signed their contracts and then i'm going to start the day with my first job if my laptop actually loads so i don't know what's going on this is the reality of how i sit on any chair my boyfriend's always like why are you sat like that that is not comfy but it is comfy to me does anyone else sit like this <laughs> <laughs> our first dog of the day honey she is a schnoodle which is a schnauzer cross poodle um and we're just currently still growing her back because when she first arrived she was you were a bit matted weren't you i'm here to shave her all off so yeah today's the first time that she's actually got a bit of hair to work with so looking forward to that you don't really like having your head dried though do you no it's okay though you don't need to have it dried <laughs> So we're being realistic for you. Honey has some matting. She also doesn't like the hairdryer, hence why her head is wet. So it's gonna go home not looking fab, but that is the reality of pet grooming. Um, now I'm gonna clean her ears. I've been using the Organic Ear Cleaner by Henry Co. I absolutely love this brand. I actually bought two, but I don't know what I've done with the other one. And I feel like crying because it's like gold dust and it's quite expensive, but you, always want to clean the ears after the bath because it's actually water from the bath that causes bacteria to build up in the ear and an ear infection can build up anywhere between two days and five days after being in water so you just really want to make sure you are cleaning the ear after the bath rather than before which is a new tip that i learned from a vet um 
and you just really want to make sure you're getting all of the dirt out and um, if there's still dirt in there you want to go back over and get it out honey's ears are pretty clean to be honest you got clean ears yeah you got clean ears I just want to show you guys something a minute. So she has tiny little knots of matting, which doesn't look like matting from the outside, but watch when I try and get my clippers free. They're getting trapped because she has little mats close to the skin. And I think that's why matting's so deceiving to a lot of owners. But yeah, she's got little mats all over her. And if even if they have tiny little ones, we do tend to have to go uh, shorter because our blade won't go through. So I've got honey all finished. I'm just gonna quickly tidy up before my next dog. Uh, that ended up being more stressful than I anticipated. It's really stressful when the dogs are matted. Um, they don't like it. It's not nice for us. It's not a satisfying groom. They don't look fab after. Um, but I mean, at least they feel better and they're more comfortable. That's all that matters. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly tidy up now before Tilly comes in. This is my second doggo, Tilly. She is an original cockapoo, which I personally find are a lot smaller. And um, she's an old girl, she's coming up to 12, and she has a really bad separation anxiety, um, hence why she's shaking. So we're taking really slow, loads of cuddles. And her mum's also told me she has an ear infection, so I need to make sure that that ear is not getting worse. She didn't take too long, she didn't take that long to dry. But um, we're just waiting for her mum to arrive and she likes to sit on my lap, don't you? Tis. My next dog is also called Tilly, but she's a black cockapoo instead. And she's also very cute like you. Yes. Hello. I've just finished my second dog. It is one o'clock. She didn't take me as long as I thought, which means my dogs aren't back to back. My old girl has just come round. Uh, I'm gonna have some lunch quickly before my next dog arrives, Tilly, again. <laughs> Tilly number two. Oh, it's Tilly, Lucky. Oh, you are one of my angels. You are one of my sweet angels, aren't you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, Tilly. Are you actually crying to come on the table? Do you? Come on then. Come on. <laughs> I love this dog. So Tilly normally just short all over. Um, so to save drying time, I'm going to pre-clip her. Oh, aren't we? We always do this, don't we? We clip her coat off first, just because there's no point in drying the coat. That's just going to come off. So I'm going to pre-clip you on a short blade a second, aren't we? tidied up and then we've got to wait for my next dog Ralphie who is a husky cross collie who you are all going to absolutely adore because he is an angel <laughs> what what are you doing, what are you doing? <laughs> she's so sweet you're so affectionate aren't you yes yes my angel we're just de-shedding you before your bath aren't we so I always de-shed before the bath because otherwise the hair gets trapped underneath the water. Ralphie, come here, darling. Um, 
and this can actually be dramatic. And Ralphie's tail is, thank you, quite compacted. So I'm just, I've covered it in a conditioning spray. This is really, really good on double coats. And I'm just brushing it out before I bathe him because when you bathe the dogs, the coat expands and then it gets matted together. So we just want to get any dead hair out before we bathe him. Ralphie is all washed and now we're going to do a big blowout. The blowout stage is the stage where we get rid of the loads of... Excuse me! No one you're bumming my face. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the blowout stage is where a lot of the dead hair it will be all around this room, hence why I've done him at the end of the day. It's Ralphie done for today. It's about to past six. Um, Ralphie decided he didn't like the hairdryer today, so parts of him were still damp when I sent him home. Um, he was literally hysterical when I turned it on, weren't you? For some reason, he was absolutely good scold last time, didn't bat an eyelid. So something's obviously gone on to make him feel a bit uncomfortable with it. Oh, look at that butt. Look at that butt. There's a nice butt. There's a nice butt. He's so handsome, isn't he? Um, but yes, I've got a lot to tidy up. What are you doing? A lot to tidy up now, um, and then I will head home. <clears throat> Soaking everything in pet friendly Zaflora um, so it's not stinky in the morning because this gets disgusting just because obviously it's sweeping up all the mud and gunk from the bath all day long. Right, the reality of actually owning your own business. I've just spent 30 minutes making a reel for Instagram. <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to head home now. I need to zip to the shops and then I need to reply to a load of clients and then make some dinner. It's about quarter past seven currently. <coughs> did a really nice 20 minute yoga and I'm about to make dinner finally at nine o'clock at night 
Um, I'm gonna have mushroom bolognese and I'm gonna make salmon meatballs because I don't like meat very much. So yeah, I try to have veggie most of the time. Yeah. Good morning, so it is 7.30 the next day. I didn't end up filming an ending. I am absolutely exhausted today. I had like night terrors through the whole night, so I've hardly slept. Um, I got another full day of dogs. I think I've got five dogs today, actually. Yeah, five dogs today. I'm just making me and Sammy a coffee and a cup of tea because I need coffee today because the exhaustion is real. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That is kind of an average day in the life. Um, I do normally end up working when I get home as well, but I'm just getting ready to go for Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below if you have liked this video and I'll see you guys very soon.